What would happen if you built a refuge for a persecuted people in a place where another people already lived? In the next few minutes, you'll learn why this moral quandary is at the root of the struggle between Israelis and Palestinians. First, there are a couple of things that's helpful to understand. One, many Jews fled harsh persecution in anti-Semitic Europe, especially the Nazi Holocaust. Zionists encouraged massive immigration to start Palestine. At that time, the British colony, where Jews had an age-old connection and where small Jewish communities had long existed among larger groups of indigenous people. But when the UN offered the Jewish immigrants the majority of the land from this state called Israel, the indigenous Palestinians who lived there were the massive destruction of life. They rejected the UN's petition plan, and several Arab states invaded the state of Israel. Israeli forces essentially erased the 400 Palestinian villages and towns. By the end of the fighting, Israel controlled 78% of the historic Palestine. And when three quarters of a million Palestinians who fled or were expelled during fighting tried to return to their homes where the new state now stood, they were permanently barred by the Israeli government. Well, over 100,000 of their relatives and neighbors who had left became second class citizens of the new state, along with the new Jewish majority. just like you across the world, including Palestinians and Israelis, protesting, educating, divesting, and boycotting, 
all to bring nonviolent international pressure on Israel to stop violating human rights of Palestinians.